With concerts and other large gatherings banned and cinemas and theaters closed, all we can do is enjoy home-based entertainment. But what if the experience could be more real and interactive, almost like going out? Based in Bangkok, Biggest Fan Productions is developing a platform which allows performers and audiences to see and interact with each other with lower latency than most other apps. Each audience member pops up on the screen, and you can choose up to three friends to see and hear more clearly than others, just like going to a concert with a group of friends. I spoke to Ben Cherry, CEO and co-founder, using his platform. The idea behind Biggest Fan is. To make connections and to support performances. So, what's what is what is the difference between a performance and, say, a recital? The purpose of a performance is to invoke an emotional reaction, and that means you want to have a connection between the performer and the audience. Mm -hmm. And anybody who's like a musician will tell you if they're playing to a dead room, or if they're doing like a one-way stream and they don't get any feedback, it's it's empty. It's a really shallow experience. You can use that technology for a lot of other types of products as well, but. It really expresses itself with music, and so that's why we started with that first. Founded as recently as June last year, the startup employs 26 staff, most of whom software developers. A public test of the platform was conducted in April, and the next one will be on Friday, June the fourth. It is hoping to launch the full service in July. With the new normal lifestyle triggered by COVID-19, Ben is hoping that it is the ideal opportunity to launch his startup. The company is aiming to earn revenue through direct ticket sales and indirectly through ticket sales by event organizers using the platform and sponsors. We are going to be the first legitimate business model for music and live events on the internet. Our business model is a post-lockdown business model. It just happens to be that. The lockdowns were sort of a, an impetus to uh, give this a try because we always knew that we wanted to do this product all the way since 2010. But the question was, you know, will people pay money to watch a, a live event on on the internet? You know, when they prefer to go out and and do it. And I think I think the answer is yes, but it would take a lot of marketing money, you know, like several million dollars to get enough traction to really uh, try it out. And so, with everyone being locked down, it's like, okay, yeah, definitely people would try it now. And so, we just need people to, you know, give the experience a chance. The platform will be available on laptops, tablets, and smartphones once it is launched, and it can be used to augment physical events. With uh, with Live Jam, you can have screens set up in these venues, and I can turn a 2,000-person hall or even a 200-person hall. Into a twenty thousand person hall, mm -hmm. and so everyone gets to have the the fantastic experience. There'll be a live audience there in in physical presence, but we'll also have the virtual audience that the band will see and hear, and the virtual audience will have as close to a live experience as possible. We hope you all enjoyed the show. Hatay Teshiketiranan reporting for Thai PBS World.